Today, everyone, is the day your creativity and imagination comes out to play. We're going to be designing a map for our Find the Markers game. And the goal here is so that we can have a nice small area for the player to walk around in to find some markers. So as you can see, we've got our spawn here from last episode. Now let's actually move this over to the middle of this base plate. Do that by setting the origin position to 0, 1, and then let's say 0. That will set it to the centre. Now the reason I set it to 1 is because because the thickness of the base spawn is 1. So if we set this to 0 here on the origin position, it will be in the ground because it's 1 thick, which is the same as the base plate. So let's then add 1 to our origin position and it will position it 1 stud above the base plate, which is what we want. Okay, so now that we've got our spawns, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some parts to our project and just place them jotted around for now. So I'm going to put one kind of in the middle or what looks to be in the middle of this spawn here. Now this video is kind of me showing you a bit of modelling. Now you can go and do your own creativity here and design the map to your liking. I'm just designing a map on a video to show you the basics of Roblox modelling. So, once we've got a part down here, we can go into Model, click Scale, and we can scale it to be however big we want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little path. I'm going to make a little path for the player to walk on. Now, as you can see, that I would say that's thick enough for a path. Let's bring it out a bit. So, as you can see, this scale tool simply makes the part bigger or smaller. So, now, of course, we can go into our Properties which if you don't remember, you can click view and then properties to view it. And we can find the color at the top under appearance. I'm gonna select color and I'm gonna make it maybe a yellow color. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this part by right clicking and renaming, or you can press F2. And I'm going to rename this to path. Now what I'm going to do is hit Control D or right click and duplicate and you can move this path around. Now rather than moving this around with my mouse like so, what we can do is use the move tool. So if we go into under model again, let's click move. Now we can move it forward and backwards, left and right and of course up and down. Now I want to move it to the left here to get it on the other side so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drag it just so it is on the other side like that. Duplicate this again, and this time I'm gonna use the rotate tool. Now as you'll see, we get some funky looking shapes here, kind of like an atom. You'll see three different circles, a blue circle, a red circle, and a green circle. The blue circle rotates it along the Z axis. The green circle rotates it around the Y axis, and the red circle rotates it along the X axis. Now what I want to do is rotate it along the Y so it will face 90 degrees like that to put one on these top two sides up here. Now what we can do is under model you'll see this rotate button. I'm going to tick that and you'll see a number here. Now I'm going to enter in 90, hit enter and we'll be able to rotate and snap it at 90 degrees which is what we want. So now let's move it. Now I'm going to duplicate it again and this time just bring it over to the opposite side. And that's that. So now we've kind of got this little cross looking shape. Now what I'm going to do is grab all these paths by clicking the top path in the hierarchy or explorer. And then I'm going to hold shift and select the bottom path and it'll select all of them. Then we can right click and group. And we'll get a model. Now we'll rename this model to paths. Now as you can see we've kind of got four areas we can make here. So we can have one bit of land here, one there, one up here, and one here. Which is why I like this kind of design. What we can do is go to part, add in another part here. Now I don't really want this to be a very thick part or a very long part. I just kind of want it to connect up these corners. Now I'm going to rename this part to edge. And I'm going to duplicate it. And bring it across. Now I'm going to grab these, duplicate them, bring them over to here. I'm actually going to rotate these by I'm going to rotate these by minus 90 degrees. Now I'm going to select the paths 
and under colour you'll see we have material and the minute it's plastic we can make we can change this so we can have an icy material we can have a fabric material we can have foil material anyway I'm gonna now put these edges into the paths and there we go we've got kind of like a little square base plate let's grab some land to put into these four squares so let's add in a part we'll just put it in the middle and I'm gonna place it in a corner somewhere and just kind of fill up this area now you can scale it down a bit if you want if we maybe make that 0.5 studs you can maybe make it a bit thinner which is what I'm gonna do put that back to one and now I'm gonna duplicate this again just so I can scale it into this corner here this side select both these parts group them and rename the model to land now actually I'm going to rename this to sector 1 and then I'm going to group it again and rename it to land now what we have here is land and then sector 1 which is of course this area here this is a nested model so if we duplicate this sector 1 and we move it over here I'm going to rename this to sector 2 actually I'm going to have to rotate this a bit like so now what we've got is four sectors of land sector one i'm gonna kind of make maybe a forest area so i'll paint it maybe a dark green and then i might make the material something maybe grass and as you can see we've got a grassy material now that looks nice now in sector two which is over here i might make this one a desert and then in sector three, maybe what we can do is we can maybe make like a snow area. And then maybe in sector four, kind of like a rocky area maybe. So now what we've got is four sectors. So with that, everyone, I'm happy for this episode. I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. This is our land. This is what it's going to be looking like. Of course, we can make tweaks as we go along. But I'm pretty happy with this and how it's turned out. So... If you did find this video helpful, everyone, please make sure to leave a like as it really helps out and it's free to do. And if you're enjoying all of our tutorials in general, please make sure to subscribe. Maybe join our Discord server. You can find the links to all our social medias in the description. We just really appreciate it if you could kind of give us support and help spread our channel. So with that, everyone, I hope you did enjoy this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one where we will be creating world barriers so the player cannot walk beyond the limits of the world. It will be a pretty simple video, but I'm going to go into detail explaining exactly what we're going to do. So I'll see you then, everyone, and goodbye.